Hey, good people. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Zorina. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would join the family. So consider um, thumbs up, subscribe, so that you can get all things faith over here, where we're just going to be, you know, going through the Bible and um, where I will teach you or encourage you, enlighten you to everything that God has to offer us. Today, I want to talk about moving forward. And, you know, life has a way of sometimes challenging us more in one season than it does in another season. And, you know, we will all have challenges and need encouragement to just keep moving forward. Don't sit down. You know, don't um, give up and um, by all means, don't turn back. That is definitely something that God is wanting me to tell you. Do not turn around and go back. Um, and why would you even want to? You know, um, yes, it's going to be tough. But in this season of where things are just being challenging, you're probably noticing that you're growing more as far as in your prayer life. You're probably growing even more in, you know, learning to lean and trust on the Lord. And that is really ultimately what he wants. He wants to transition you off of formula <laughs> or breast milk onto, you know, solid food. And, you know, and so it's all a journey. There are steps to this and we need to keep moving forward. You know, they put blinders on horses so that they don't get distracted and move left or right because the goal is in front of you. And so there's some scriptures that I want um, to align this with to keep you encouraged, to keep you moving forward, to keep your eye on the Lord. Um, and so when we talk about moving forward, um, it is described to advance in, in position or progress. And that is definitely what we are wanting to do. We want to keep progressing. We want to keep growing in all things um, of the Lord. And the Lord is fine if that progression is at work, um, in a business that he has gifted your hands to, or if that is even in your marriage and friendships, every part and sector of your life, um, God wants you to keep growing. He wants you to keep moving forward. And in every sector, there's going to be times and seasons where you're going to be challenged, even in relationships, um, probably even more so <laughs> in relationships. And so with that um, advancement of position, right? Because we all want to be advanced. Um, you know, at work, you advance and you get a, a greater title and of course, more responsibility. And with that, you get some more money. And so in the advancement of God, it is similar. You're going to get advancement of glory, advancement of the revelations of God, advancements of even the gifts that God wants to give you. So don't give up, don't turn back because right up ahead is the gift. And so the encouragement I want to give you, I want to read um, from the Messenger Bible in Deuteronomy 31 verse, um, what is it, verse 8. Um, in here we're going to be reading from the Messenger. It'll be a combination of verse seven through eight. Then Moses summoned Joshua. He said to him, with all Israel watching, be strong, take courage. You will enter the land with this people, this land that God promised their ancestors that he'd give them. You will make them the proud possessors of it. God is striding ahead of you. He's right there with you. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. Don't be intimidated. Don't worry. And that alone, if I don't read anything else to you, that alone should encourage you because the Lord is saying that he is striding up ahead. He is not behind you. He's not even beside you at that point. He is clearing the way up ahead of you so that 
as you come behind him, the path is already cleared. You know, like when um, I visualize, when I think of that, what is that thing where people hack the weeds and clear the path when there's a lot of tall brush, right? Um, visualize that even being God, he's paving the way in front of you. And he's saying, you know, he won't let you down. And he's telling you not to be intimidated. And there are times when you're going to feel intimidated either by circumstances, people, bills, or all of the above. And he's saying, don't be intimidated. Don't worry, because he is making a way in the middle of what in our eyes may seem like there's no way. Um, in addition to that, I want to um, take you over to Isaiah um, and the, let's see here, in verse, I'm sorry, in chapter 41, it is, um, is it chapter 41? Just a moment. Let me make sure I'm getting you right. Um, I'm sorry. Yes. In chapter 41, verse, um, 10, but it, it'll be, um, eight through 10. But you, Israel, are my servant, your Jacob, my first choice, descendants of my good friend Abraham. I pulled you in from all over the world, called you in from every dark corner of the earth, telling you, you are my servant serving on my side. I've picked you. I haven't dropped you. Don't panic. I am with you. There's no need to fear, for I'm your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady. Keep a firm grip on you. Whew, that's a good one. You know, when, when the Lord says that he will keep a firm grip on you, you know, <laughs> I can remember like when my sons were little boys and, you know, when you take them to the store and you're holding their hand and, you know, or if you're crossing the street, right? You really hold them tightly, little, a little more tight than you would if you were probably in a store. Um, because in traffic, crossing a street, it can be very dangerous. So you may not even hold their hand. You may hold their arm. <laughs> you know, you want a whole grip. You want the body so that if something were to come, you would be able to snatch them up and bring them closer to you. Or you may just pick them up. And if, if that is what you would do for your child or any child to make sure that they are safe, we are God's children. And he is saying that he is going to keep a firm grip on you, that he is going to hold you steady. So when it's, it's hard and things are coming at you from every direction. The enemy wants to distract you, to mentally wear you out, to physically wear you out. And I'm telling you, take a break, do what you have to, to, to get your, your wind back, right? To get some energy back in you. You know, if you have a really good prayer partner, ask for someone to pray with you, but in all means, stay encouraged, do not lay down, do not give up, do not turn back, keep moving forward. Because the, the, the scheme and the plot of the enemy is to have you stop, to have you retreat, because there is something up ahead that he knows you're working towards. And he doesn't know the plans that God has for you, but he sees movement. He knows like, wait a minute, now, last season, you were pretty idle. You, you was watching a lot of TV and I wasn't bothering you. All of a sudden, you seem to have this energy, this momentum. I'm seeing you reading the Bible more. You're praying more. Um, you're making the enemy nervous, right? And so he is like, now all of a sudden, he's like, what you doing? Okay, the Lord must be doing something now with you. You are being obedient, right? So now he's going to come in. And he's about to throw everything, the baby, the bath water, and the sink. <laughs> or at least that's my life, right? And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm giving you the advice that I have to always give myself. But the one thing that I say 
no matter how hard it gets, you know, I'm not going back. There's nothing back there. There's nothing. There's darkness. There's destruction. There's sadness. There's everything. You know, I want to keep moving forward because God has a firm grip on me and he's already cleared the way. And so forward is the best bet. So stay encouraged and listen to this, like say this in your favorites, because you will be in a season of, of challenge. Because even when Joshua was, you know, taking that, that, that the descendants of the Israelites into the promised land, they still had to fight to take that territory. They, they just didn't just walk in and say, um, the Lord said, this is ours and y'all got to go. No, they had to fight <laughs> to take it over. And so don't think that it's just going to be easy and the Lord's just going to just lay it down because really, to be honest, there is growth. There is, what does it say? There is advancement of position and progress in moving forward. And so I want to read also um, in Isaiah, the um, chapter 58, um, verse 11. I think it's verse 11. Yes, chapter 58, verse 11. Here um, in the messenger, it will be grouped um, chapter, I'm sorry, verses 9 through 12. If you get rid of unfamiliar practices, quit blaming victims, quit gossiping about other people's sins. If you are generous with the hungry and start giving yourselves to the down and out, your lives will begin to glow in the darkness. Your shadow lives will be bathed in sunlight. I will always show you where to go. I'll give you a full life in the emptiest of places firm muscles, strong bones. You'll be like a well-watered garden, a gurgling spring that never runs dry. You'll use the old rumble of past lives to build anew. Rebuild the foundations from out of your past. You'll be known as those who can fix anything, restore old ruins, rebuild and renovate, make the community livable again. Now, that's a great finale. Um, to just moving forward because, you know, when in this last section here where he says, you'll be known as those who can fix anything, restore old ruins, rebuild, renovate, make the community livable again. Um, and, and so when I think about that, I just think about, you know, what it is that you can do for your family what you will be doing for your, you know, your children, your, your next generation, and how that will just be such a blessing. The fact that you did not give up and you did not um, let the challenges defeat you, it will bless not only you, but the, the family of people that are coming after you. And so I just want to leave you with those three um, verses um, and, you know, and just give you some encouragement to keep moving forward, even in the hard times. Um, and even when it looks like, you know, God is quiet, um, trust me, he's seeing you, he's there with you. Um, so keep, you know, keep your eye straight ahead, put blinders on. And, um, I promise you, he will pave the way. He will bless you for your effort. He will bless you for your tenacity in moving forward. All right. Thank you so much um, for coming into my channel. Please consider subscribing and thumbs up. And I will see you on the next one. All right. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And most of all, be at peace. Thank you.